Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Dodge and the EVAP system and all the main components that's in it and how you go about troubleshooting it if you are having an issue with the Dodge EVAP system. And some main codes for a Dodge EVAP system is like P0440. And there's a whole list of them. And these can often help point out to which components have failed in the EVAP system. But I'm going to go over the whole system and what's going on with it. And if you are having an issue, how you go about fixing it. And so what is the Dodge EVAP system? Well, the EVAP system is created for emissions to help stop all the gas vapors from escaping and going into the atmosphere. And the gas vapors are taken and they're sent back into the engine to get burnt off is basically what the EVAP system is. And it's a fairly simple system. It's made up of some major components. And one thing to keep in mind before you start on any troubleshooting anything is that the Dodge gas cap is a part of the EVAP system. So Always be sure to go out there and check the gas cap. Be sure the seal going around the cap is good, that it's locked into place, and that it's all good. Because the EVAP system does need to have a slight vacuum in order to work properly. And so if the gas cap's not sealed all the way, then it can not cause an issue. So with any EVAP system error, the first thing to always go check is the gas cap. And once you know the gas cap is good, then you can start breaking things down into individual components. Quite often, error codes will point out which component is having the problem. But the first thing to look at is that the gas vapors come out of the gas tank and they go into the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister holds the gas vapors until it's time to be sent into the engine to get burnt off. And the charcoal canister is usually located up underneath by the gas tank. Although it can vary with Dodges, sometimes they'll have them along the frame, mainly with like trucks and things like this. So be sure to Google your Dodge to find out exactly where the charcoal canister is. They're commonly by the gas tank, but they can vary. And they'll just be like a square or circle-ish container that'll have like three hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And the charcoal canister also contains the canister vent solenoid, or sometimes called the vent valve. And these can open or shut quite often to test the system. They'll close and the onboard computer will send the system into a vacuum and then it'll test it to see if there's a leak. So errors can come up that'll say it's the vent solenoid or vent valve. And that is usually located on the charcoal canister. But again, they can't be separate but it's quite commonly on the charcoal canister. And one thing to mention with any of these, with any of these valves or solenoids or sensors is always be sure to check the wiring because a bad connection in the harness or an open or short can cause the same symptoms as a bad component. So you always want to check the wiring, be sure it's plugged in good. There's no opens or shorts or anything like this. And the next, and the next main component is going to be the purge valve or purge solenoid. And these are usually located up and inside of the engine compartment. And they're just a simple device. They have a valve inside of here that opens when the engine's running so all the gas vapors can go back into the engine and get burnt off. And then they close when the engine is not running so that the gas vapors don't escape. And they're fairly low cost items. They're usually pretty simple to swap out. They'll have like two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And these can be a common failure inside an EVAP system. So uh, the next thing to look out for is the purge valve. And next up is just going to be all the hoses that run around to everything because all these hoses that run into the system from the gas tank all the way up to the charcoal canister all the way around to the purge solenoid and into the engine they they can't leak the all these hoses need to be sealed they, and sometimes they can uh, get a leak or even become clogged which can be an issue so if you took it to a mechanic what they do is they hook it up to a smoke machine and if smoke came out of a spot then they know there was a leak and they they'd be able to fix it and that's a common method for finding an EVAP system leak and, and repairing it. And if you do have an EVAP system and you just can't find a leak, there are some smoke machines on Amazon that you could buy. But you can also just go around to all these connections, all these hoses, and really examine them and see if there's any cracks or anything like this or any, any openings, anything that would cause it to leak. And usually you can find it if, they, if there is a crack in the line or something leaking. Of course, very small leaks can sometimes be troublesome, so... You may have to get a smoke machine if you have a really small, small leak. But the next thing to check would be the hoses. And next is going to be the fuel tank pressure sensor. And what this does is it reports back to the onboard computer everything that's going on in the EVAP system. So if one of these fails, there may not be a problem inside of the system. And But the onboard computer thinks that there's a problem since the sensor is just reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. So the next thing to check would be the fuel tank pressure sensor. And these are usually located on the fuel pump, although again, they can vary, so you might have to Google it for your particular Dodge. But they're commonly located on top of the fuel pump. And again, be sure to check any wiring going in because that could cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure the harness isn't good and there's no opens or shorts. So if you've gone around and you checked everything and you know they're good or you replaced the parts and you still can't solve your problem with the EVAP system that you're having, then it is possible that it's the onboard computer or the PCM. 
And this is pretty rare. I mean, this doesn't usually happen, but it can fail in some cases. The circuitry inside of there that monitors the EVAP system and the sensor and everything that sends information back to it could get damaged. So it is possible that the onboard computer can fail. But like I said, that's pretty rare. So usually it's something else. You want to go through everything else and be sure that you really check everything good, the wiring, the hoses, all these sensors and solenoids, and that you really tested them or you replaced them and you know they're good. But it is possible that they could fail. So it's definitely something to keep in mind after you've checked everything else and you know everything else is good. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of all the basics of a Dodge EVAP system and how you go about fixing it if you needed to, all the main components to check. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.